Jiang Jiang woke up all night and found out that she was a villainous female supporting actress. Empty has beauty but no brain. She is also a tragic supporting role. Abandoned in an orphanage since childhood, it was not until many years later that my family found me. But she found that there was already a beautiful fake daughter in that house who could go up to the hall and down to the kitchen, and her life was full of ups and downs. She replaced her life with a beautiful one. In the end, against the backdrop of fake gold, I lived like a mouse in a ditch. Laugh to death, then fuck yourself. As soon as you take off your shoes, pull on your bedding, wear an eye mask, love who you are. Why not do it? Put yourself in first place. Just, we agreed to follow the plot. What about the plot? Why do those people like Mao look at him like a rare thing? According to the plot, is it? To crack one's own kidney to save someone. Darling, 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 darling. Ah. This little treasure that I finally found, is it okay after running away? Keywords of the novel. After dressing up as a fake heiress control group, I was favored by the group without a pop-dot-up window. After dressing up as a fake heiress control group, I was favored by the group and downloaded the complete TXT collection. After dressing up as a fake heiress control group, I was favored by the group to read the latest chapter. Chapter 1. I am a true daughter. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1. I am a true daughter Jiangcheng is located in a coastal area. The cold rainy season continued throughout the winter. Jiang Jiang, who was called up by the orphan dean early in the morning, was now exhausted and lost his temper. He pursed his lips and sat on a chair, his fair face beautiful like a puppet, looking down at the cracked little white shoes under his feet. She has been sitting on the chair for a full half hour. Motionless, with empty eyes. Jiang Jiang lived in this world as an orphan for a long time, so long that she almost forgot that it was a world in a romance novel. Unfortunately, she is still a villainous supporting actress and a true heiress. Empty has beauty but no brain. She is also a tragic supporting role. Abandoned in an orphanage since childhood, it was not until many years later that my family found me. But she found that there was already a beautiful fake daughter in that house who could go up to the hall and down to the kitchen, and her life was full of ups and downs. She replaced her life with a beautiful one. Struggling back and forth, they are all just fake heirs. Even in the end, against the backdrop of fake gold, I lived like a mouse in a ditch. Since that's the case, why bother with it? Anyway, no matter how hard you struggle, it's better to just lie flat and lay down. Jiang Jiang couldn't help but raise the corner of his mouth, revealing a self-deprecating curve. Be patient, and after the Chinese New Year, you will become an adult. By then, I can move out of here myself. Yud. A sound of footsteps came from outside the door, getting closer and closer. With a creak, the dean pushed open the door, followed by two people behind him, and with a few people approaching, there was a chill. Ginger. The dean's voice sounded a bit trembling, completely different from her usual arrogant and domineering demeanor, with a hint of flattery in her voice. Dean. Jiang Jiang stood up, his eyes darkened due to low blood pressure, and it took him a long time to regain his brightness. This physical condition is somewhat poor. Being sick all day is terrible. Just stand for a while and you'll be gasping for breath. She lowered her head and lowered it, striving to appear gentle and obedient. Having lived in an orphanage for so many years, Jiang Jiang knows which way to better protect himself. Are you Jiang Jiang? A kind and deep male voice rang in Jiang Jiang's ear. There was a slight tremble in the voice. The man in front of me is tall and about 40 or 50 years old. The eyebrows furrowed gently, exuding an aura of being in a high position all over the body. It is not difficult to see that he was also a beautiful man when he was young. 
I am Jiang Jiang. Jiang Jiang's voice is very pleasant, soft, with an untimely pallor on her face, making her look so small. I am your father. Jiang Yunhai looked at the girl in front of him, and his heart was filled with a tinge of sourness. Being alone, without parents by my side, yet being sensible and polite is heartbreaking. Father. Jiang Jiang remembered in the book that the Jiang family was extremely impatient with his newly arrived daughter. The first time I saw the Jiang family was not in the orphanage, but a year later. In the original book, when Jiang Jiang first met the Jiang family, he was neglected by various means. Just waiting for someone waited for nearly five or six hours. Finally, it was only with the servant's reminder that someone approached. Why is it so fast? Mr. Jiang, you have also seen that Jiang Jiang is being taken care of very well by our orphanage. I didn't lie to you. Jiang Jiang is very likable in our orphanage. The dean pretended to be calm, but his hand holding Jiang Jiang's arm trembled slightly. Open a new article, open a new article this is a group favorite article it's a text that has been cured by the whole family hey he he. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Why not follow the plot? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Why not follow the plot, have Jiang Jiang been taken good care of? Our Jiang family will investigate various reasons and there's no need for you to tell me. Jiang Yunhai has been in a high position for a long time, and when he spoke, he carried a slightly fierce aura. Glancing coldly, the dean lowered his head. But as he turned to look at Jiang Jiang, his gaze softened involuntarily. Perhaps due to some blood relationship, when I saw this child. Jiang Yunhai's heartbeat couldn't help but accelerate. That appearance, that temperament, is clearly a replica of his wife's youth. Yes, yes, Mr. Jiang, what you said is true. The dean bent down and bowed, uh. You guys talk, you guys talk. I won't interfere with you too. The dean walked out of the room while speaking. Bang. The door closed with a loud bang, and the dilapidated door made a creaking sound. There are only two people left in the room. Ginger. Jiang Yunhai squatted beside her in the front half, his gaze fixed on her, afraid to scare the fragile girl in front of him. He whispered, How are you doing here? Have you ever been bullied? Jiang Jiang. What the hell? This tone, this tone of speech that's not how it's written in this book. Yeah, how could you live well in such a place? Jiang Yunhai wished he could slap himself twice. It's all my fault for being late. I should have come over earlier to pick you up. It's my dad's fault that you've suffered so much. Jiang Jiang. What is this with? Isn't it that you don't like this daughter? Isn't it that I wish this daughter had disappeared into this world earlier? This. This what's going on? The girl's pale and almost transparent face was filled with doubts and confusion. Jiang Yunhai explained, after you were born, due to our negligence, you were replaced with another girl by someone with a heart. When we discovered this, the whole world was looking for you. It's just that the world is so big, how can it be so easy to find? Over the years, the people of the Jiang family have never given up searching for her whereabouts. Finally, the emperor lived up to those who had intentions. After several twists and turns, he found out about Jiang Zhang's whereabouts from a human trafficker. Jiang Yunhai put down his work and rushed non stop. Jiang Zhang, I'm sorry, it's all our fault. It's all because we didn't take good care of you, which is why you have suffered so much injustice. Jiang Yunhai reached out and grabbed her hand. Jiang Zhang's hand was small, incredibly thin and delicate. This child is really too thin this sudden concern and apology completely bewildered Jiang Jiang. Jiang Jiang's brain was working hard to organize language and he said, You. Do you mean? Are you my father? Jiang Yunhai looked at the beautiful and thin girl sitting obediently on the chair in front of him, with a bewildered expression on her face. He tilted his head, even with a hint of disbelief in his eyes. 
he increasingly felt that he was not something. Yes, I am your father. After Jiang Yunhai finished speaking, a sour feeling welled up in his heart. Jiang Jiang. Oh no, oh no. In the book, Jiang Yunhai refused to acknowledge his daughter even after the original owner died. Jiang Yunhai raised his hand and touched Jiang Zhang's hair with caution, saying, Jiang Jiang, will dad take you home? Let's go home first. Our brothers, mothers, and younger brothers are all waiting for you at home. Jiang Jiang is the little princess. Of course, the little princess wants to go home with her father. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Taking You Home You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Taking You Home Jiang Jiang walked out of the orphanage door surrounded by a group of bodyguards. By the time she realized it, she was already standing in front of a black sedan. The black sedan in front of me looks very expensive just by looking at it. The polished glass window reflected Jiang Zhang's pale little face. So it feels like it looks very unreal. The people in the orphanage poked their heads out and whispered to Jiang Jiang. I just said that sister Jiang Jiang is so beautiful, like a princess. How could no one like her? Don't you think someone has come to pick her up now? I really envy sister Jiang Jiang. Her father came to pick her up and bring her home, but when she returned home, Brother Xiao Cheng would be sad. Shu, Brother Xiao Cheng is currently in a meeting and doesn't know about this matter at the moment. If he knew about this, Brother Xiao Cheng would get angry. When Brother Xiao Cheng gets angry, it can be scary. The cold wind blew on Jiang Zhang's body, causing her to shiver uncontrollably before she could react. A coat was draped over her body, and a warm sensation swept over her. Jiang Jiang looked up at Jiang Yunhai. Let's go, let's go home. Jiang Yunhai looked at the young girl in front of him, this is the treasure that their Jiang family has lost for over a decade. Watching Jiang Jiang enter the car, Jiang Yunhai asked softly, can I sit next to you? Jiang Jiang nodded awkwardly. The black car drove smoothly on the road, and Jiang Yunhai looked at the girl beside him. A small one, delicate and delicate. Although she was sitting next to her, it was as if a gust of wind would blow and she would disappear from her side. Jiang Zhang's mind was still a bit confused. Mr. Jiang, are you sure you want to take me home? A soft voice, timid with a hint of probing. My small body slowly moved, widening the distance between these two people. Those bright eyes were even more guarded and probing. Looking at the Jiang Yunhai in front of me, there is an unrealistic feeling no matter how I look at it. Jiang Yunhai's heart was filled with an infinite sourness as he watched her. I'm not taking you home, Jiang Yunhai struggled to squeeze out a seemingly gentle smile. Jiang Jiang was startled and lowered her head to conceal her inner embarrassment. She knew she would definitely follow the plot. She knew she was always the one who was abandoned. From childhood to adulthood, I have always been like this. No matter how hard I struggle or resist, in the end, I will always be the one who is abandoned. I will never be seen by others. You are the mouse in the sewer, destined to live in darkness. So, Jiang Jiang, what are you really looking forward to? Do you think others will see you when they only give you a little warmth? So how ridiculous you really are. Jiang Jiang. Jiang Yunhai grabbed her hand with a backhand. To be correct, that's your home, she continued in a soft voice, coaxing her. The people at home really want to see you and have prepared many gifts for you. Everyone wants to make up for you. You don't have to be afraid, they are all easy to get along with. Under Jiang Yunhai's gentle gaze, Jiang finally slowly closed his eyes and let out a long sigh. The stone in my heart inexplicably fell to the ground. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Don't be afraid of children. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Don't be afraid of children The black sedan was driving steadily on the road, and the interior was quiet. Jiang Jiang looked out of the car with a somewhat complicated mood. 
the scenery outside the car is extremely beautiful. She has been locked up in an orphanage for too long, not seeing the outside world for too long. Jiang Yunhai looked at Jiang Zhang's face and felt an unprecedented sense of defeat in his heart. Although he was fully prepared before coming, his daughter, who had been lost for over a decade, did not accept him so quickly. But when she saw her daughter facing her, the invisible wall was erected, almost unimaginable. What kind of life did her daughter live during these more than ten years of life? Jiang Jiang is in a good mood. She rarely has such a relaxing moment. It's here. The driver's respectful voice echoed inside the car, breaking the silence. Jiang Jiang, we're home now. Glancing at the somewhat mysterious girl, Jiang Yunhai softly shouted. Oh, good. Jiang Jiang got off the car. Following behind Jiang Yunhai. Two people in front and one behind. The vast villa, with its flowers, plants, and trees in the garden, has been beautifully trimmed. It can be seen that it was carefully taken care of by someone. Jiang Jiang lowered her head and glanced at her slightly cracked little white shoes. It looks quite out of place. Life is not easy, Jiang sighed. On the way back, Jiang Yunhai had already called the aunt at home to prepare the food and informed her of the arrival time in advance. Afraid of scaring the child, she only left in Mingzhu waiting at the door. The distance is gradually getting closer. Jiang Jiang saw the beautiful and delicate curly hair of the woman wearing a fruit green dress, with exquisite makeup on her face, and happily waved at them. That face is really. It's just too similar to myself. Jiang Jiang, that's your mother. The others are outside. Let's go see them when you want to see them, okay? Jiang Yunhai lowered his voice and said. Jiang Zhang's guard is too heavy. If she sees so many people at once, she might be afraid. Jiang Jiang. At this moment, two words quickly popped up in her mind. Probing. Absolutely a probe. Test yourself if you have any other ideas. Will it pose any threat to his other daughter? Jiang Jiang lowered his head and began to remain silent. And Mingzhu stepped forward and grabbed Jiang Jiang's hand. Jiang Jiang, my daughter, just let her go home. Her eyes were filled with infinite love and heartache, and her emotions suddenly became uncontrollable. She hugged Jiang Jiang, tears streaming down her face. Especially when holding Jiang Jiang, Jiang Jiang felt extremely uncomfortable. She doesn't like to hug strangers very much. Jiang Jiang couldn't help but clench his fist in his hand. I want to push away but the smell on her body smells good. Finally, with a long sigh of helplessness, the fist-shaped hand slowly loosened. Jiang Yunhai spoke up and reminded, All right, all right, let the child in first. We didn't eat anything along the way. Right, right, first door, first door, let's eat something first. And Mingzhu wiped away her tears and pulled Jiang Zhang's hand as she walked inside. Jiang Jiang remained expressionless and followed behind in Mingzhu. Finding the child is a good thing, and it's okay to talk about things slowly in the future. Jiang Yunhai also smiled and quickly followed behind. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 I'm going soon. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 I'm going soon, this morning, we Jiang Jiang, I'm afraid we're hungry. Come, come with mom. Mom has made a lot of delicious things for you. And Mingzhu enthusiastically grabbed Jiang Jiang's hand and bustled around. Jiang Jiang sat down stiffly. A table full of dishes, all in color, aroma, and taste. The bowls in front of him were piled up like a small mountain, making Jiang Jiang's scalp even more numb. After a moment of thought, he whispered his gratitude, thank you. For bothering you. The movements were cautious and the tone was polite. That oppressive feeling is just too strong. She she can't adapt to it. He silently lowered his eyes. Quiet, the table is now even quieter. 
It was so quiet that even the sound of a needle falling on the ground could be heard clearly. What's going on? What's wrong with this? Why is everyone not talking? Jiang Jiang carefully raised his head, and what caught his eye were the couple's slightly furrowed brows and extremely unhappy expressions. Did you say something wrong that made them unhappy? Or is it that I am once again tired of them? Since that's the case Jiang Jiang put down the dishes and stood up. In a polite tone, I'm really sorry for bothering you. I'm leaving now. After speaking, turn around and leave. Being proactive in proposing to leave is much stronger than others feeling like they are walking. At least maintain your last bit of dignity. Cannot be too contemptuous. Jiang Jiang, what are you talking about? And Mingzhu tries her best to make her voice soft when speaking. That voice is still a bit impatient. I'm leaving now, I'm leaving right away. Don't be angry. That lady should be getting angry. Okay, she shouldn't have stayed here for too long. She should have left here earlier. Why are you leaving? This is your home, you should stay here. Jiang Yunhai couldn't help but lower his voice, mixed with a hint of anger. He couldn't understand what the delicate and delicate girl in front of him was thinking. That shy and timid appearance, as if afraid of offending anyone. But you seem very unhappy. Since, if you're unhappy, I think it's better for me to leave here temporarily. Having lived in the orphanage for too long, I now fully understand how to look at people's faces. I think it's better not to disturb you. The last sentence, Jiang Jiang was already muttering to himself. And Mingzhu is heartbroken to death. Her daughter doesn't need to be so careful, let alone look at the faces of others. She herself is the proud daughter of heaven. You. Don't worry, I won't stay here and not leave. I'll leave right away. Jiang Jiang retreated as she spoke. Jiang Jiang. Jiang Wenhai's low reprimand echoed throughout the living room. Jiang Jiang was startled. Is this about to start hitting someone? Don't go, Jiang Jiang. You don't have to go, don't be afraid. This will be your home from now on. And Mingzhu grabbed her hand with immense force. The sudden news combined with a whole day of running around made Jiang Jiang extremely exhausted. The chest was filled with waves of pain, and what was even more deadly was invisibility. It felt like a big hand was forcefully gripping her neck, making it difficult for her to breathe. The feeling of suffocation worsened, and the eyes were dizzy. Jiang Jiang finally couldn't resist closing his eyes, and his whole body fell down in a continuous motion. A big hand supported her. The urgent cries echoed in her ears. Before completely losing consciousness, a sentence popped up in Jiang Jiang's mind. This plot is not right. End of this chapter. Chapter 6, Then Kick Her Out. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6, Then Kick Her Out Shi Middle School is a key high school in Jiangcheng. On winter afternoons, the sunshine is always particularly warm. Students in groups of three or two gathered together to eat and chat. Jiang Yunzhou sat in the stands on the playground, took off his school uniform jacket, and casually put it aside. In winter, he doesn't feel cold either, wearing long clothes and long sleeves inside. The young man's figure is straight, and his handsome and handsome face is even more eye-dot-catching. Cheng Bei, holding a basketball, looked at him and said, Let's go play basketball. Jiang Yunzhou's tone was a bit impatient, Don't go, stay away from me. Cheng Bei wasn't angry either. Why? Are you worried about your new sister? The news about the Jiang family has been circulating in the circle recently. It is said that the two children were holding each other wrong, and they have already found their own biological daughter. We need to bring our biological daughter back. After my biological daughter was taken back, didn't the other daughter in the family feel embarrassed? Jiang Yunzhou glanced over with a cold voice and said, What new sister? I only have Yunshu as my sister. Then you have to be careful. Jiang Yunzhou frowned on his side and said, 
what does that mean? Cheng Bei said, I've heard about it, your sister. Ah no, that person is a child who grew up in an orphanage. The children who grew up there are quite cunning, and Yun Xu is afraid she won't be able to handle it. If there's any small stumbling block or something, then your brother will be in the middle, but he won't be able to handle it well both inside and outside. Jiang Yunzhou's eyes gleamed coldly. She tried to be careful in front of me and see if I wouldn't kick her out of this house. Cheng Bei applauded and shouted, You're amazing, my state brother is amazing. Jiang Yunzhou gave him a white glance. After playing basketball for a while, Cheng Bei went to the convenience store to buy food. Jiang Yunzhou has been restless these days and has no appetite. Sitting in the stands, squinting and contemplating. If that girl looks more like me, let her stay in this house for a little longer. If you don't understand. Humph. A hint of ferocity flashed in Jiang Yunzhou's gaze. Then give me as far as you want and get as far as you want. Jiang Jiang slept well in this world for the first time. Without the chaotic plot to dominate, let alone being cautious about everything outside, the whole person's body is light and floating, as if floating in mid-air, incredibly light. After an unknown amount of time, she slowly opened her eyes. The dazzling white light forced her to close her eyes again. After a long while, she reluctantly opened her eyes. Looking around, you can see the clean and bright French window, warm pink wallpaper, white furniture, and goose yellow curtains. Even the corners were filled with various dolls. A room with a girlish heart. That soft big bed is very comfortable to lie on. Glancing at the alarm clock on the bedside table. It's already two o'clock in the afternoon. Get out of bed, put on your shoes, open the door, and walk out. Be obedient and clever. She wants to find someone and ask herself if she can leave from here. But she didn't expect that as soon as she opened the door, a tall and cheerful figure stood at the door. Wearing a suit and leather shoes, with a pair of golden framed glasses on the bridge of the nose, it looks very mature. He is very tall and looks over 1.8 meters tall. That face bears some resemblance to Jiang Yunhai. She just doesn't know this person. Unconsciously, she clenched her fist on top of her hand. The newly relaxed nerves once again became tense. Jiang Yunzhu, don't die, you will cry when the time comes. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 The Mysterious Big Brother You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 The Mysterious Big Brother Moreover, the original book states that as soon as Jiang Jiang returned home, he was assigned to live in the miscellaneous room downstairs. And stay in the miscellaneous room until you die. The other few people all live above the building. In this intangible way, we have even distanced ourselves from her. Causing Jiang Zhang's constantly feeling of inferiority to surge into his heart. A dark corner has sprouted in my heart. Later, even more irreversible things were done. And the room I am currently living in is clearly not a miscellaneous room. Hello, I'm Jiang Yunan, your brother. You can call me Yunan brother. Seeing Jiang Zhang's distraction, Jiang Yunnan spoke and stood steadily in front of her. Jiang Yunnan had already seen Jiang Zhang's face on his parents' phones, but when Jiang Zhang's face was visible in reality, he couldn't help but be surprised. She is very thin, her skin is very white, but she has that unhealthy whiteness. The wind blew as if it could blow away. The little face looks very beautiful, just like the Barbie doll displayed in the shop window. Most importantly, her face and An Mingzhu's face are so similar. Anyone who looks at it will feel like they are from the Jiang family. For the first time, Jiang Yunnan experienced what blood ties are. Seeing this face, his heart involuntarily softened. You slept for a long time, didn't have breakfast, and didn't have lunch either. You must be hungry. Do you want to go down and have something to eat? The doctor said you can't eat too much now, you need something light. What do you want to eat? Let the kitchen downstairs cook you some shredded chicken noodles, okay? 
I probably noticed that Jiang Jiang was a bit scared. The man who claimed to be his brother lowered his voice, making it softer and getting closer. Jiang Jiang. Help. It's very surreal. No, it's a very mystical kind. Although there is not much description of this big brother in the book, one can feel from every word that he is extremely unhappy with this sudden younger sister. It is believed that her appearance disrupted the balance in the family. Even affecting everyone in the family. Even in the future, he even tripped up the original owner of this body. In the end, the tragic fate of the original owner was also shared by this big brother. Are you digging a pit to jump for yourself now? First, have a better attitude towards yourself, and then. Let yourself get out of this house. Even to the point of ruining one's reputation. Um it must be like this. Very good, Jiang Jiang, you should always remain vigilant like this. Don't let others speak to you in a slightly better tone, and then you'll be obediently led by the nose. You have been deceived many times, and if you fall into the same trap more than three times, then you are foolish. So Jiang Jiang, you need to protect yourself and not let anyone harm you. Jiang Jiang. Seeing her hesitating to answer, Jiang Yunnan shouted her name again. Jiang Jiang looked up at him. Are you still feeling unwell? Would you like to invite a doctor over to take a look? I heard she grew up in an orphanage, and her thin and small body looked like she was malnourished. No, I'm in good health. I don't need to invite a doctor over. I'm really sorry to trouble you. Jiang Zhang's eyes carried a strong sense of defense, as he lowered his head and apologized. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 She's not at all good. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 She's not at all good Jiang Jiang instinctively kept a distance from him. She may not be suitable for such a friendly meeting. Jiang Yunnan looked at the girl in front of him. She was stolen by someone from birth, and the elders and descendants in the family never stopped searching for her after realizing this. It wasn't until a while ago that everyone finally found out about her whereabouts. She was very good dot looking, with a small face and beautiful eyebrows and eyes. It was almost immediately apparent that she belonged to the Jiang family. She is just excessively thin and weak. She is almost 18 years old, but due to delayed development, she looks only 14 or 15 years old due to malnutrition, there is no blood color on the face. According to the doctor, she has severe anemia and many old scars from unknown sources on her body. Jiang Jiang looked at the man in front of him, who was using a rather complex and scrutinizing tone. She breathed a sigh of relief. That's right. This is the attitude of the elder brother towards this outsider in the book. Silently shrinking his body backwards, Jiang Yunnan remained silent and just looked at himself quietly. Jiang Jiang couldn't speak either. Quietness is the eerie feeling of tranquility. Awkward. It's just the awkward kind of person who can pick their feet. In the end, Jiang Jiang couldn't help but ask, that. That. Jiang Yunnan's gaze glanced over. Jiang Jiang swallowed a bit displeased. May I leave now? To put it correctly, she wants to run. It's the kind that runs quite fast she swore that if she left today, she would starve to death in her life, even if she was beaten to death, she would never come to the Jiang family. Jiang Yunnan thought she was going downstairs to have dinner and responded. Jiang Jiang felt a burst of great joy in his heart. Quickly walking downstairs. Slow down a bit. Jiang Zhang's speed was just too fast, and Jiang Yunnan wanted to reach out and grab her, leaving his hand empty. A slender figure brushed past. When it comes to running away, Jiang Jiang dares to say second in the orphanage, and no one dares to say first. And Ming Zhu is making her favorite cookies and chocolate cookies in the kitchen. The entire living room is filled with the fragrance of cocoa. Seeing Jiang Jiang go downstairs, Shen Mingzhu smiled gently and spoke cautiously, Is Jiang Jiang hungry? I baked some cookies. Do you want to eat some padding first? 
Jiang Jiang swallowed his saliva again and said, No no need, I need to go back. If possible, would you be able to take me back? Everything that happened today is too magical and unrealistic. She needs to go back to the orphanage to wake herself up. After a moment of silence, and Mingzhu's smile disappeared and she said softly, Jiang Jiang, this is your home. You don't need to go back in the future, you just live here. Jiang Jiang was shocked. Looking at an Mingzhu and then at Jiang Yunnan, she was stunned. Are you scared? An Mingzhu looked up at Jiang Yunnan as if she had remembered something. In a tone of disgust, she said, I told you not to look at your sister with one face, but you didn't listen. It's okay now, your sister has been scared by you. Jiang Yunnan. Coincidentally, An Mingzhu also took the opportunity to introduce herself. Jiang Jiang, let me introduce you. This is your big brother Jiang Yunnan. He always has a stern face and is a bit scary, but in fact, he is very easy to talk about. After introducing An Mingzhu, Jiang Yunnan walked down and faced Jiang Jiang, his face softened and he said, Jiang Jiang, hello. Friendly extend your hand. Jiang Jiang looked at Jiang Yunnan with a bewildered expression on her face. No, she's not good. She is not at all good. Jiang Jiang is extremely afraid of death, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 The Existence of Another Girl You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 The Existence of Another Girl Seeing Jiang Jiang Standing There Dumbfounded and Mingzhu knew she didn't want the child to put down her guard so quickly. Don't rush to shout, you can shout again when you want. And Mingzhu is not forced. The baked cookies were taken out of the oven, and An Mingzhu brought them in front of her. Do you want to try some cookies? They're delicious. Jiang Jiang is a bit hesitant to move. And Mingzhu was not in a hurry and took a cookie and stuffed it into her hand. Jiang Jiang grabbed this cookie with a warm sensation emanating from his fingertips. It seems to tell her something. Eating a cookie is not a big deal. Yes, it's just eating a cookie. She unconsciously put the biscuit into her mouth. A very delicious cookie. Crispy and fragrant, with a bitter taste of chocolate. It's really delicious. It's the most delicious cookie she has ever eaten in her life. Jiang Jiang, shall we have some kanji? Drinking kanji to nourish your stomach will be better for your health. And Mingzhu is thinking about this child, but she hasn't eaten anything yet. No need, thank you. Eating cookies is already enough, but eating other things feels a bit unethical. Why don't you use it? You're too thin, you need to eat more. And Mingzhu brought a bowl of kanji as if she hadn't heard. Jiang Jiang instinctively wanted to step back. Come and have a taste. And Mingzhu stirred the spoon. This is the first time I've made kanji. Let's see if it's delicious. If it weren't for the child's physical condition not allowing it. She insisted that the child make up for it well. I really don't know how she spent her time in the orphanage with such a thin and anemic body. Whenever she thinks of this, and Mingzhu feels heartbroken. Jiang Jiang hesitated a bit. I always feel that there is something in the kanji that should not be put. Bow your head. And Mingzhu urged, come and eat, don't always be hungry. The words fell into Jiang Jiang's ears, which had a hint of the meaning of De Lang coming to drink medicine. Jiang Jiang hesitated. I lowered my head and glanced down, half eaten the cookies on my hand. In the end, he pulled open the stool and sat down, thank you. And Mingzhu and Jiang Yunnan sat left and right next to Jiang Jiang. Jiang Jiang felt a bit like a sandwich biscuit. And Mingzhu said again, Dad went out to buy you some fruit. What fruit do you like to eat? I asked him to buy some more. Thinking that Yun Shu likes to eat fruits at home, Jiang Jiang should also like it. Jiang Jiang's hand, holding a spoon, gave a slight pause and said. I don't really like eating fruits. Then he lowered his eyes and drank kanji one by one. She really doesn't have much habit of eating fruits. 
Before, I couldn't even afford to eat. What fruits did I eat? Jiang Jiang has a small appetite, and after taking two bites, he doesn't want to eat anymore. Put down the spoon and politely say, I'm full, thank you. Jiang Yunnan moved his lips and said, let's have some more. She eats too little. Like a kitten. I won't open my mouth after taking two or three bites. The secretary in the company said it's about losing weight, but she didn't eat as little. I'm full. Jiang Jiang looked up, with a bright light shining in his eyes. The whole little face is white and tender, with a soft voice. The listener's heart feels a tingling sensation. Jiang Yunnan compromised. If you don't want to eat, then don't want to eat. Anyway, in the future, in this home, one day you will give back your appetite. Jiang Jiang stood up and said, Thank you for your hospitality. I want to. Jiang Jiang, this is your home. And Mingzhu seemed to have guessed what she was going to say and grabbed her hand. Grab tightly. Successfully prevented Jiang Jiang from blurting out her words. You are my daughter, of course you want to live with your parents, and they will take care of you in the future. Jiang Jiang felt pain and wanted to withdraw his hand. But she never thought of herself. With a slight gesture, and Mingzhu grabbed even tighter. The distance between the two became closer and closer, making Jiang Jiang feel extremely uncomfortable. I'm not familiar with you guys. I'm doing well on my own. Why? Why do I have to live with you guys? All right, if you say you're my parents, do I have to accept you as my parents? Jiang Jiang couldn't help it anymore. She is really afraid of death, and she is also really afraid of following the plot. And Mingzhu's face turned pale. So you still have to leave, right? I've said it all, I'm not familiar with you. Besides, I used to live alone and I will take care of myself. You don't have to worry. Jiang Zhang's voice became quieter as he spoke, and his entire gaze was nowhere to be placed. She looked at An Mingzhu with some reluctance. Whether in this life or in the previous life, Jiang Jiang is a child without parents by his side. In order to survive in this world, she had already figured out a set of rules for survival. Know what kind of expression to show and what kind of words to say when you see someone. Suddenly, a few people came and said they were their own parents. Let yourself live with them. Even to the point of breaking one's own way of life. How to say it? It's not right, it's very wrong. Jiang Jiang, don't be like this. Jiang Jiang Yue said so, and in Mingzhu felt even more guilty in her heart. How old is she? Facing all the people in this world with such caution. Seems to exclude the entire world from her scope. It's really hard to imagine what such a young child has experienced. Jiang Yunnan stood aside with a frown, his gaze unclear. And Mingzhu is really too close Jiang Jiang took a deep breath, gritted his teeth, and gritted his scalp to remind him, what about the other girl? Isn't it like there's already another girl living in this house? Jiang Jiang grew up alone from a young age, so his guard will be very strong, end of this chapter. Chapter 10, Then Let Her Go You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10, Then Let Her Go Jiang Yunnan's face was ugly, and even in Mingzhu's face was stiff. Yun Xu's presence in this family is undoubtedly awkward. They were anxiously searching for Jiang Zhang's whereabouts. As for that child, they never arranged a place for that child at all. Even more, they are somewhat greedy and want to keep both children by their side. The Jiang family is not short of money, raising an extra person is nothing more than adding a pair of bowls and chopsticks. Just for now, Jiang Jiang is in Mingzhu looked at Jiang Jiang. Jiang Jiang also looked up at her. After all, it is necessary to follow the plot and show a bit of malicious expression appropriately. Just as Jiang Jiang was about to speak according to the original lines in the book, saying, In this house, there are no such malicious words as me or her. And Mingzhu spoke up, as if she had made some kind of decision. Although Yun Xu's child grew up with us, 
Parents know better than anyone else in their hearts that you are the one with whom we have a blood relationship. If you don't want to see her, we will send her away. Although somewhat reluctant. But blood ties are the deepest bond in this world. At the moment she saw that child, and Mingzhu seemed to have seen her childhood. As for Yun Xu's child, there may not be much fate with their Jiang family. OMO. OMO. What kind of ghost is this? After seeing her off, how can we proceed with the plot? Jiang Yunshu is the protagonist. Jiang Jiang quickly waved his hand and said, I. I didn't mean that. She took the script of the evil supporting role. The female lead has already left, what else is she playing? And Mingzhu wanted to grab her hand. But when she saw An Mingzhu approaching, Jiang Jiang's entire body shrank back. Jiang Jiang is not used to interacting with others. Even a slight touch can make people feel a bit uncomfortable. But I never expected that such a reaction would be seen by Jiang Mingzhu with a sense of resistance. At this moment, An Mingzhu seemed to make a decision and said, It's okay, Jiang Jiang. You don't have to worry about these things. Although I am reluctant to part with the child I have raised for so many years. But seeing Jiang Zhang's thin and weak body and pale face, one can imagine how much injustice and pain she has endured outside. She is clearly the little princess who has been well cared for by everyone in this family. Unfortunately, there is another person taking over her life. Jiang Jiang shook his head even harder. I don't mean that, I really don't mean that. Well. Well, actually you don't need to look like this, really. Jiang Jiang has a headache. And Mingzhu spoke confidently, Jiang Jiang, this is your home, you are not allowed to go anywhere. Jiang Yunan frowned on the side and advised, my parents have been looking for you for a long time. If you don't go back to the Jiang family, where are you going? The uneasy feeling in Jiang Jiang's heart became increasingly strong. Yes, she is already a helpless person. Where can she go? Wherever I go, I cannot escape the entanglement of the plot. No matter how hard you struggle, you will still be pulled back to your original position. Since that's the case Jiang Jiang took a deep breath, calmed down his emotions, and slowly spoke up. I'll trouble you all. When An Mingzhu heard her say these words, she also breathed a sigh of relief and said, It's not troublesome, how could it be troublesome? Jiang Jiang looked up at An Mingzhu and moved her lips as if she wanted to say something, but in the end, she closed her mouth. End of this chapter